wondering why nothing was happening. I was wondering why nothing was happening, yeah. Dun, 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 dun. We're already getting close to the freaking freaky part. The freaking Silent Hill shit. Guess you need to talk. No worries. It's all good. I'm it's all good. What's going on, Max? We have to find Nathan right now. I'm sorry, Warren. Yeah, you're not getting my pussy today. Listen, I can walk and listen, okay? That didn't happen anyway, so I don't know why I'm saying sorry. Fine, Max. Listening. Okay, good. Well, get 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 that hairline off your ears. I need to make sure you're really listening. You used your powers, right? And you fucked around with time, and I died. Not like that. Get that stupid beanie off. No, I'm just kidding. I like. There's no way that punk ass bitch Nathan Prescott is taking me down. Hey, you're punk ass. You dr you dress like a punk. Mark Jefferson. Punk ass. You bitch. And others. Jefferson, the art teacher. That's bullshit. Nathan is the fucking serial killer. Uh, dude, you said you. Listen, listen, you said you would listen to me, but you're not listening! It's too dangerous. Yeah, it's too dangerous. I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm gonna be... Oh, wait, I actually, I actually have to... Shit, I have... Shit, 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 shit. Shit, I, I just realized I have to actually do this. I I I know about the uh, this part. I have to actually do like I have to actually answer certain ways. Like there's there's multiple ways I think you can do it right, but like, and I was lucky enough to do it right like the first time. I don't know. I'm really good at these things. Like where I know what to say. Like I I knew what to say with Kate for the most part. Exactly what happened, please. When I first played, except for the final question. Um, because it had to do with like. I had to do with, like, a fact thing about her Bible anyway. Well, well actually, yeah, I can, I can get into that if I can try to remember correctly. Um, right, so when I first played this game, it went to the Kate part. Um, I did, like, everything right, except for, even though I, although I did watch playthroughs before. But, you know, I did everything right, everything that I felt was right. Because I didn't really remember the choices, so I still think it was kind of legit. And oh. You almost had her, Max. I can still do this. Oh, okay, I should really pay attention. Hold on. Excuse me, I'm going to that party to make sure he never hurts. Okay, let me just This isn't a bad time to talk about this. Please tell me. Okay. Jefferson killed him, doesn't work? What? What? I'm pretty sure that's what I. Hold on. Jefferson kidnapped Rachel and some other girls. He was also. Then it's Jefferson's turn to die now. What the fuck? I remember doing that before, and I swear I did that before, and it worked. Okay. I guess I have to play to myself, to my own vanity here. Here we go. Okay. Anyway, so yeah, the K choice, I did all of them correctly, except for the final one, which for me, because it changes like, what questions you get from K, you know, sometimes. And the final one for me was the Bible quote thing. And I figured the, the right one apparently. I thought the I thought the right one for her would be like the whole evil doers thing, because the other one was like a pro suicide thing where like relieve your pain and die, and I thought that wouldn't be good for her because she wants to do that, so it would just help her to do that. But apparently that's actually what works. That's actually what comforts her. So I don't know. Whatever. I don't know. I'm not the makers of these games. I mean, I kind I guess I kind of get it, but like you know, I just figured that wasn't the Right approach, mean, logically or naturally, what but do? whatever. Um, I'm pretty sure I said fucked up last time, did I not? Or should I say terrible choice? Should 
try this. Well, I think we did the other one last time. I'm, well, I'm gonna tell you the truth. I think I did. You know, I uh, fucked up last time. I changed your past. Or maybe I, I did this. I don't know. I, I had to make a terrible choice, and I, I, Max, please tell me. I won't be mad at you. I, I was able to. Yes, you will. Back in time. So the last day William was alive. Actually, she won't. Leaving, but Surprisingly, sort of. But you ended up in a car crash instead. You saw my dad again. You. Hope you don't hear that too much. I, I think it's okay. <sighs> Professional playthrough right here. Hey, so let's replay. It's not meant to be taken seriously for the story for sake. It's just kind of a background, sort of. I had to return to this time. To see you again. Let's see. No, you didn't. You didn't have to. You just felt like I had to. There's a difference. I'm so sorry I had to ask you that. I had no idea what would happen, and as usual, I messed everything up, and... Yeah, you really suck, Max. You should give someone else... Why why they give you with these fucking powers? They should give someone who fucking knows what to do with them. Someone's way better than you. Like me! Nobody would. I would. I'm smart. why you should come with me, so we can stay together. Alive. And have sex. It's sort of lesbian couple thing. Orgy. What? Of course not. Sure. If we tell David, no, why not? And he can actually stop him. I'm okay with that. Right? As I many people in the city die, better. Totally the more people die in the city, the better. Not even at our house anymore. Um. Oh, do I really? Ah, oh, do I really have to convince her of this? Oh, do I really have to? Oh, come on. I don't want her to start liking David. Oh. Chloe, David saved no, no. Fuck David. Right Pro-Jefferson, yes. man. I'm pro-Jefferson. I'm anti David and pro Jefferson. There's this is a stance these are stances I'm taking for this game. So what's your plan? We tell him everything. I'm pro Jefferson. Okay. I'll lobby for Jefferson. We're gonna start a camp we're gonna start a campaign. We're gonna start like a fundraiser. Still your faithful companion. To get to keep Jefferson alive in the canon of this game. Uh this game franchise, so because apparently there's going to be a season two. I'm, I'm just saying, I, I think, I don't know if they said outright, but like, it says, when you go on this game, it says like, Life is Strange season one. They write it as Life is Strange season one is now available. So, what do you want me to interpret from that? <laughs> Alright, come on. Always. Oh. Okay, it's not going to be a repeat of like last time. Oh. No. See, the thing, this guy... There's some bothersome elements to this. I feel, I kind of wish, like, Max had, like, I kind of wish that it worked out a little bit more, a little bit differently, where Max had no choice but to, like, she couldn't, she couldn't go back. Like, she couldn't go back to stop Chloe from dying there, you know? I kind of wish it worked more like that. Ah, oh, shit, I can't. Okay, I hope you can hear me over this, otherwise I'm gonna I might have to turn myself up at this part or something. I don't know. Oh, okay, this is really back. awkwardly loud and so it's really bad. Did? Okay, let me see. Can I turn it down for myself? Oh, you're alive. Oh, okay, good. You're alive. Oh, both of us. Okay, that's fine. I did so much to bring So back, Right. What was I talking about? Oh yeah. Like Jefferson, right? Poor Jefferson. And keep him alive. What? What was I talking about? Save my ungrateful ass over and over. And I feel like I was talking about something meaningful. Oh shit. I don't blame oh yeah, I was hoping. I, I kind of wish it went more like where, where like that incident with Chloe getting shot by Jefferson. There just like that just had to be left to happen. 
Just a short time. Like, like Max couldn't even go back in time there you're to stop that. She just had to you. let that go. Even if you weren't, you're kind somehow. Caring, nobody could have a better best friend. I don't know, but I guess the photo thing kind of ruins that. So. <laughs> but may maybe she could have gone back and like somehow it just there's that's the only way it could have worked out. I don't know. I just I just feel like it kind of ruins the moment that kind of that that scene when you know in the future that it's not really gonna matter. That clearly gets shot in the head there because she comes back anyway, and then and then she can maybe die later on, but in a different way, and in a way where none of this happens anyway, so it all kind of is pointless in a sense. Although I get what they were going for, it's like, it's like your choices, your actions have consequences, and, and then everything that Max, every, every choice that you made is actually what causes all of this, and then you have to like, so the point is to like not make any choices, I guess, but... I don't know, it's just kind of... When the storm got hella crazy and, and you said we would be safe... It, I mean, it seems kind of, it is kind of typical. It is kind of generic, cliche, but... Uh, I don't like the it was cliche. It's kind of generic, but... And... Yeah, it is kind of generic. And kind of a cop-out and like, easy. Sort of could be Rachel's revenge. solution, Our but yeah, you, know, you know, I mean, it's still a good game, and I like the ending and the stuff. But I, I like the I like the way it was I like the way it was done, but I don't necessarily like it as the way it should have been. If you get if that makes sense. So here we go. Here we go, Silent Hill. These pieces of time can frame us in our glory. Yeah, Victoria's staring at me. Awkward. <laughs> I think Jer maybe, maybe the game should have told me that Jefferson was actually behind this all along. Maybe Jefferson's the only one here who who's actually a person here and he knows what's going on. Well, I guess they're all... Right, I guess it's a good time for me to talk about this, actually. Feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those sad mothers and children. Right, this shit. She saw humanity as Wait, torture, right? What's going on? How did it take you so long to notice that? <laughs> Maybe she was just in shock. I could frame any one of you in a dark corner and capture you. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, you could. Oh, I like how that that all sink there, like the blood coming out and then he's like, I can catch you in a moment of desperation. <laughs> right, so there's a part here. Where my theory of Jefferson actually being behind all this is sort of backed up. It is backed up to a small extent. Uh, what's this? Does this look any different? Oh, right, there's that, I guess. Because, you know, it's me in his chair. And, oh shit, my mouse is all screwy. Um, didn't die, King. You're alive. She isn't saying she died, she's saying she wants to die. Idiot. But we did kill her in this one. No. No, we didn't. She died in, the, in my first playthrough, but I think I saved her every other time, so, yeah. Not yet, you bastard. Right, this. This note here. Max, if you're reading this, it means you're dead. Mr. Jefferson, XOXO. See? That supports my theory. <laughs> very, very, very vaguely. I mean, not vaguely, but very minimally. <laughs> oh, well. Unfortunately, there's not much more than that. And then Rachel Amber, we didn't really... I talked about that already, right? We didn't really get to see her and everything, and... We don't really... We don't really get to know Rachel Amber's, you know, significance to all this. Other than she was Rachel Jefferson's Rachel victim. Rachel. And maybe that, that she was the deer, or whatever, but... The doe, but, um... But, um... But there could be theories about that that have already pretty, pretty, uh, pretty thoroughly explained that, perhaps, and I'll look into those after this to play this, so, oh, no. yeah. So this is, this is not a blind playthrough, but it's blind in terms of, like, probably what a lot of people might, might have gathered from watching theory videos. God, he kind of, sorry, that actually kind of freaked me out for a second. I don't know, for some reason, 
I don't know, I just kind of forgot, and then when I saw his face there, it kind of creeped me out, actually. Like, imagine if you were actually in the situation where this kind of thing was just happening, where you're in some kind of like Silent Hill thing, and people are just popping out of nowhere, it's like, I'd be fucking scared shitless. Last time I said our dark room, because I felt like that was pretty touch, I felt that was pretty fitting, or pretty, <laughs> yeah, uh, that was a pretty good contrast there. Um, oh my god, <laughs> thanks for giving, <gasps> oh, well, we were kissing his ass earlier, so let's, dreaming of the day when you would finally tell me, I'm actually going to say the word, <laughs> Yes. We need to Ooh. Catch up on all the time we've First name basis. Waste. Especially since yeah, all this time I wasted on this game. Nobody left in your life. <laughs> I you I'm back. kidding. Oh, oh, why'd you go away? I don't believe it. So I'm like in control of myself and I'm not at the same time. That's kind of weird. I'm only given like certain choices apparently. Um... Right, so I have a theory for what's happening here, but it could be totally bunk. It's been a while since I really thought about it. I kind of thought about it just mostly after I finished my second playthrough of this, which was like a week after I finished the first one. So, um, so yeah, I don't know if I want to start talking about it yet. Hold on. Hey, Kate, what's your stupid bitch ass crying about? For some reason, this is freakier to me this time than any other time I played this. I don't know why. I think I'm gonna be overthinking it too much. Well, I'm just glad nothing scary actually happened. Like, Kate just suddenly, like, turns around and, like, gets monster face and, like, screams at you really loud. <laughs> that, fucking... <laughs> that would be so off base for this game, but it would fucking freak me out. <laughs> Max, why did you stop me from jumping? What kind of friend are you? You never understood me. Or what happened to me. Yes, I did. I understood it better than you even did, idiot. Yeah, well... Yeah, well, it's because you're a loser. Go kill yourself, bitch. Okay, um... Oh, God. So my big theory on this... Maybe I should wait. Yeah... I should wait till we see more. I don't know. Maybe. Okay, so my theory on this actually is that... Reality kind of broke at this point. It just kind of like So if you know I mean, you're watching less replay, so you should know um, Between Max going into this Sort of comatose state or Supposedly, you know dream state or whatever if it's just a dream I'm gonna be pissed off because I think that's lame, but um My theory is that between then and when she came back out from dreaming that that period actually was was um that period actually was the reality breaking and kind of morphing into this weird fucked up chasm of shit that we're going through right now and so it's all this random shit this is this is this is very summarized because I I don't have the you know I don't have the articulate words just off the top of my head <laughs> I kind of wrote like a whole I, I wrote like a fucking fucking, you know, essay lengthy shit about this, but, um, to post to a friend that I never actually posted it to, but anyway, uh, so, um, yeah, all this chasm of shit is going on, it's basically the reality breaking and morphing into something all messed up and tangled, and, and I think what essentially is happening is that it's kind of breaking more and more. As you go along, so where exactly am I? So, so like by the end of it, you know, like you're seeing the whole like the whole attitudes of people completely change and everything. It's like the whole code for this reality is just all messed up. And then by the end, when you're going through that walk of like memory lane, you know, where it's all black, that's because everything is pretty much gone. Except for those little bits and pieces involving you and Chloe, for some reason. I don't have an exact explanation for that. I mean, 
I, I guess it makes sense because you're like you have these powers, so you'd be relevant. And then Chloe apparently is the thing that's kind of triggering all this. So yeah, it makes sense. Um, so basically, the only bits left of reality are basically those bits and pieces of your memory uh, of your memories of her that you're going through in that walk. And I should be looking at this. I'm, I'm, I I can't please stop playing. I shouldn't be doing that. Um, and essentially. And essentially, you just get back to the memory. You you get back to the point where you were basically, and then suddenly you wake up. And it's actually that I don't know. It's actually that um, reality has been restored, and you you pretty much getting you pretty much getting you given one more chance to. Or, no, sorry, because... Right, I... Oh my god, this is so bad. Um, I, I'm remembering more, but I'm remembering better now about this. So, like... My whole thing is probably wonky, but... Um... Let's see. It's hard to focus when you're talking about this, because it's a lot to think about. Victoria? Okay, that's not actually happening yet. Um, right, the keys. Um, he said that right there. Um, so, so, right, so I had this whole, like, it's kind of convoluted, I had this whole thing where, like, when it, when it breaks, it's basically like, it can't take it anymore, it's like breaking because... You know, you're you're messing with time too much when Chloe should be dead already. You keep saving her ass and all this, and she should be dead, and blah, blah, blah. You know, the whole thing. And then... And then basically, when you get back to... When you get back to reality, it's basically... At that point, it's basically like... Okay, reality's back, but at this point... At this point, like, the consequences are basically met. Like, you know, things things are just going to happen the way they are if Chloe doesn't die. So, like, because she didn't die, th this tornado is just, just going to happen, you know? Unless she can, unless, unless what was supposed to happen happens, which is Max going back and getting her killed and all this. Um... And I probably didn't explain that thoroughly, but I'm I'm trying to fo I'm trying to focus because I'm fucking losing track of my shit here. It's taking way too long now because I was explaining that. Okay, what am I supposed to do? Where am I supposed to go, Rachel? Oh my god. Okay. Okay, here, come on. Get in here. There. Oh. Okay, I think I'm supposed to go to Victoria's room now. Wait, did we already see the squirrels? Uh, whatever. Like, totally. Victoria, like, totally. God, I really should have planned for this. <laughs> anyway, I hope that kind of makes sense. I don't think I explained all that. I'm sure I'll explain it more later when we go through this. Because you know what? It's not over yet. Um, am I supposed to go through Max's now? Wait a minute, did I... Whoa. Hey. I don't remember that. I don't remember it being, like, empty. Right, this is like, the most... This is, like, the fucking... This is one of the most freaky parts. I really liked it, though. I didn't realize what was actually happening at first, and now I realize, oh, yeah, they're talking backwards. Uh... Those people sound, like, backwards. It's kind of weird. Anyway. We didn't see the squirrels, but whatever. Or maybe we did, I, I was paying attention. Whatever, though. Doesn't matter. Not doing this for photos or anything. Um. Yeah, and then the song is like backwards, it's really funny. 
sung backwards. All right. Um, but yeah, so basically, like reality braces, it can't take like, you know, the anomaly that is Chloe living, which isn't supposed to happen. And so it breaks. But then my theory is that it kind of gives you one less. It, it kind of like decides at this point, like, all right, all right, reality is going to happen, but the consequences will be met. This tornado will come and it will kill everyone. Unless you do something about it, which is allow what was originally supposed to happen, happen. That, that was kind of my, that was basically my theory there. And, you know, I don't know. Like, and there's a doe for once. We didn't see him until since, uh, I like the doe. The doe is probably the only thing that really knows what's going on here. But, um, yeah, that was basically like, all right, I have to focus here now. Fuck. Don't try to hide, Matt. This is the freakiest part. Let me you. I mean, it's not that bad, but it is kind of freaky. Jefferson is coming after me again. No. You used to be so pure, so innocent. Now, you have to die. Okay. Please understand this. I just want to focus because I know I can. If I don't. Be my selfie. Okay, I just want to focus here because I, I could really... Because I could really fuck this up. And I don't want to. Please understand, Max. The only place I can be my selfie is in the dark room. Okay, cool. Is this the dark room? This is a nice metaphoric representation of it. Yeah, and this, this is another one of those things where it fucks up and... Part of my theory was that when to your spark, Max. I thought I could be your professor. Part of my theory is that when oh god. Evening, Hold on, how did I want to do this? Um and I'm here to drop the mic on Max Caulfield. Jefferson can't see me from here, right? No. Okay, good, that would be annoying. Attention. Uh Oh, right, if I just go in the middle. Has died under tragic circumstances that I if I just go in the middle, right? After I, Ms. Oh, right. I wonder how we'll get around this. Okay, I know how to get around this. I'm just being... S Okay, this isn't the way, I don't think this is the way I did it last time, but... Good evening, Blackwell. There we go. Well, okay. Max, where are you? Right, and there's, this, this yeah. plays along so well with the Warren theory, because the people were saying that Warren was actually... There's actually a lot more to Warren than we, than we thought. And there's a whole thing about... Yeah, I think I mentioned this before, the whole thing about him, like... Watching you from the window. I never noticed that before, but I didn't... Actually, I think I did, but I didn't really think much of it. Like, well, it's not a big deal. Like, he's just a little curious or whatever. Some people like that, too. I think people... I think people... I think people over... Fuck off, Warren, you piece of shit. Go kill... Go kill yourself. Okay. Um, I'm trying to talk here. Yeah, I think people people just... I think people just overthought that one, but whatever. Oh wow! I never actually. Uh. Is if a tornado 
Oh. Uh. Okay. Let's have you go all the way back there. Cool. Right, and I got all the bottles before. I've, I've done that before, so it's fine. I'm not. What? Hey, Max. Uh. Okay, that's kind of bullshit. Come on, that's so bullshit. Their light cannot see me. It's not touching me. Wow, that was my most failed. This I, I think I've been caught the most times at this part. Like, at that particular moment there, like, I've never been... God, that's so gay. Most times I've been caught here, I swear, it's fucking... Because I'm trying to talk, and it... That was so bullshit, though, like, they're not really hitting me, like... That's so, just so finicky. Okay. Uh, do I wanna... I guess we can play over this, yeah. So, yeah, um... What do we learn from this? I have no idea. Right, so this is like reality kind of breaking in, and I had this idea that when you get to the lighthouse, like the yeah, the, this this kind of when you get to the lighthouse, it's kind of like giving you another chance. I sort of thought, but then I was like, no wait, but this whole breaking thing happens again with the blackness. So I think I don't know. I think it's just a way of. I still feel like it's a progression of breakdown, but you know. I guess when Max is in the globe, that's like worse. Yeah, to get out of this place, that's kind of like what I'm saying because, you know, she got, she put got put in this place. And if I get touched, I swear to God. Okay, good. And I caught I got all the balls before. I'm not gonna bother this time, obviously, but. Or. Whatever, I'll do it in a future playthrough whenever I do this game again. Yeah, so when she gets when she gets put in the globe here, I, I think that's... I guess that can be considered worse in like a metaphorical sense, so... I think it is a progression of like reality breaking down, but I could be wrong. Maybe it is all just a nightmare, but I think that's really stupid. I mean, it's called nightmare, but I hope it's not that basic of an answer, because that would be dumb. If this is all just a dream, no, I, please don't. Please don't tell me it's a dream. This better have been something that really happened. That would be so much cooler. Or some kind of explanation other than it's a dream. Like, please. I get that there could be a metaphor behind it being a dream, but I don't. I don't. I don't like it. It's too typical. It's too generic. It's too. It's just too easy. It's too much of a cop out. It's just. I don't like it. I don't like it being a dream. It just doesn't have as near as much significance to me as if this really happened. Well, maybe you should have thought about that, idiot. And I'm not gonna bother going over all the memory lane stuff. I'm just gonna, wa <laughs> I'm gonna run through it all. So, <laughs> uh.